Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we don't earn and something we didn't deserve. That God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever, here's the key word, believe in him, will not perish but have eternal life. Period. That's the gospel. When you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, and you put your faith and trust in Christ and the blood, and you accept him as savior, You've accepted the gift of salvation, the gift of grace. You're saved. You're saved. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. He's your best friend. And he will change you. That's the simple gospel. It doesn't get no easier than that. A lot of people will write me. I get letters. I get comments every single day day you're preaching the wrong gospel you're doing this you're doing tell me you know don't forget and when you in I, I want you to tell me where another gospel is and don't forget what Paul told the Galatians who have bewitched you the gospel is simple you believe in what Christ did at the cross you are justified by the blood of Jesus that's how we're saved don't take too long to argue about it because we're about to get raptured. And if you don't believe that gospel, hmm. Anyway, this came off of uh, war news. Airspaces are closed. Air, our airlines are closed or, yeah, airspaces are closed for rocket launches. Now, listen to this. Folks, it, time is up, basically. Russia has closed eastern Ukrainian airspace with NOTAM, N-O-T-A-M. Excuse me, banning all political flights. NOTAM has an unknown duration. Now, all indications are that Russia will start bombing tonight. They already started their invasion and all that other stuff last night. It's getting worse now. It's getting worse. All airports in eastern and southern Ukraine are closed. Ukrainians are reportedly installing tractors and heavy mechanical equipment to block any landings by Russian aircraft. This is getting real now. It's been getting real, but this is really getting real. Ukraine again is again under fierce cyber attacks. Many sites have crashed. So, Zelensky, with an extraordinary speech and speaking in Russian, the language he banned in Ukraine, personally addressed the Russian people and the Russian president and asked him to back down, even at the last minute. In the sermon, he said, they call it a sermon. <laughs> how, how ironic. Today, I started a telephone conversation with the president of the Russian Federation. The result was silence. He did not pick up the phone, although it is Donbass where there must be silence. Russian, Russia approves attack on Ukraine. Putin did not respond to call for talks. He's done talking. We did not need war. We neither cold nor hot nor hybrid. If you attack us, you will see our faces, not our backs. Thousands will die. I believe that there are people among you in civil society, real people. I understand that this appeal will not be shown on Russian television, but if the Russian government does not want to speak, 
I believe that the Russian people want to speak. Ukraine's Secret Service burns secret documents at its headquarters in Kiev. The Russian army enters Donetsk where it is greeted by the, screen, the screaming Russian-speaking population. See, personally, all hell is about to break loose for real right now because they are positioned. They are positioned. Again, my thing to you, don't think about getting saved long, like maybe a few seconds, and then get saved. Because what's about to happen, I said it last night, the rubber band has snapped. The rubber band has definitely snapped. Now, according to another um, thing that I saw, Sanctions have already been enforced by the European Union. This is not good either. None of this is good because, like I said this morning, if you think that Putin will not retaliate, I don't know what to tell you. He's going to retaliate. This came to, let me uh, give you this before I forget. Um, it says here... Russia vows to resist U.S. sanctions. It says here, reacting to the first wave of U.S. sanctions after Russian troops deployed into two pro-Moscow separatist regions, Russia warned that Americans will, fee will fully feel the consequences. Biden, Sleepy Joe, whatever you want to call him, uh, Geriatric Joe, whatever you want to call him, has acknowledged that the crisis could lead to higher gasoline prices. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on a minute. Don't blame now. Don't blame Russia for that. Do not blame Russia for the higher gas prices because the higher gas prices happened when he took office and closed the pipelines down. He didn't have nothing. Putin didn't have nothing to do with that. That was all on him. While U.S. businesses have been warned to prepare for possible cyber attacks, the measures include freezing the assets of two state-owned banks that service the Kremlin and Russian military. They also target Kremlin elites close to Russian President Vladimir Putin and the country's uh, sovereign debt, strictly limiting the gover uh, government's ability to access Western financing. But the United States stopped short for now of putting in place the most severe of the measures it had previewed. Anthony, uh, Antonov responded to the sanctions in a post on the official Facebook of Russians, Russia's embassy in the U.S. writing, the sanctions cannot solve a thing. Actually, he's right about that. It is hard to imagine that there is a person in Washington who expects Russia to revise its foreign policy under a threat of restrictions, he wrote. I don't remember a single day when our country lived without any restrictions from the Western world. We have learned to work in such conditions and not only to survive, but also to develop our state. There is no doubt that the sanctions introduced against us will hit global financial and energy markets, he continued. The United States will not be left out with its ordinary citizens feeling the consequences of the price increase in full. I hate to say it, but I believe this man. That's going to happen. That's definitely going to happen. I couldn't come on earlier today because I was I had to take Kevin to the dentist. And I had a doctor's appointment as well. Everything's fine. I just had to go for my checkup. I have arthritis, so. And it's being handled. I changed doctors, so. 
That's a good thing. And I'm not worried about it because we're going to get a new body anyway. Just think about this. Before I, I'm going to link these two articles in the description box. We're about to see Christ face to face. Think about that. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians, no, 1 Thessalonians, the dead in Christ will rise first. And that's only fair to the dead in Christ because they have further to go. They're going to rise first. Then those of us who are alive and remain will meet the Lord in the air. So shall we forever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. You're about to meet the Lord face to face. Those of us who are born again, who are saved and sealed. That's a good thing. I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. If anything else comes up, I will be back. This, this has started. This is it. This is it. Matt um, talked to me today. And he had something that was very interesting in the Bible. And I do believe the Lord gave him this. It's about Ezekiel 38. And when it's talking, speaking of which, I just got a message. I will link both of these in the description box and I will be back. But what he, he got something out of Ezekiel 38 that said, when it's talking about horsemen in that chapter, it's not talking about horsemen or chariots. It's talking about actual tanks that are being implemented in the Russian army today. This is interesting because we're seeing the book of Ezekiel come open right now. That means the church only has, let me put it like this, the church has no time. Because the rapture is going to happen at any time. Therefore, when I give you this news about Russia, it's good news. I will be back. Um, if anything else comes up, I will be back. Thank you.